Hi, I'm Nick Koenig. And I'm Julissa Valiente. Thanks for joining us for School News Around the District. Our top story, cultivating more career options for the students in the Glades. For the last two years, community leaders and the Glades have been meeting regularly as part of the Glades Career Readiness Roundtable. One program they put in place is the Glades Construction and Career Academy. Every day, students from Pahokee High and Crossroads Academy travel to West Tech, where the students learn carpentry. Every student has the opportunity to earn industry certification, which will help pave the way for a job in the construction industry or college. School board member Marsha Andrews is the co-chair of the roundtable and says the group is definitely making an impact. Economically, they have to have those resources to take the children and the community to the next level. So the passion is here from everybody that you work with. Everybody wants to make sure that their lives are better and they want to work hard to make it better. The roundtable also includes school district administrators, principals, attorneys, and business leaders. School district leaders are also making great strides in finalizing the strategic plan. That's the proposed blueprint of how the district will be run for the next three to five years. Superintendent Robert Avosa held a workshop with about 100 teachers last week. The goal was to identify potential initiatives that would help achieve four long-term goals. The goals are increasing reading proficiency by the third grade, ensuring high school readiness, increasing the high school graduation rate, and fostering postgraduate success. What we're doing um, as a school system, get some feedback, get some engagement, but then more importantly, I want to talk about what this group could become. And I don't want to decide every bit of that. I just don't. I want you to help me decide. The proposed strategic plan will be presented to the school board for approval next month. The superintendent will formally unveil the plan in March. Competition is heating up as students from 15 local high schools try to outsmart each other. It's all part of the 31st annual Academic Challenge Competition. Reporter Amber Pellicone joins us from Studio B here at the Education Network where the competition takes place. Amber? Hi guys. It's pretty quiet in here right now as the competitors are taking a short break, but I promise it gets pretty crazy in here during the rounds. The teams and the competitors are definitely in it to win it. Question. Compute the definite integral from... Players are quizzed in the areas of language arts, math, science, social studies, fine arts, world languages, and technology. One team will prevail at the county level and take home the trophy. Next, the six top performing competitors from the various teams will form one new team to represent Palm Beach County in the state competition held in Orlando. All of the local rounds are being taped right here and will broadcast on the Education Network in a couple of weeks. Meantime, the questions are not easy. Here's an example while I'm here at my official podium. Identify the series of laws passed by the United Kingdom during the Napoleonic Wars that were designed to keep the neutral nations from trading with France. Okay, Nick and Jalissa, have at it. Hmm, I have no idea. It's so easy. It's the Orders and Council. I'm very impressed. And so am I by one of your recent accomplishments. Where did you get that? Oh, just found it somewhere. <laughs> Take a look. There's Nick up front and center of the group of outstanding students. Each of these students represent their high school as the 2016 CTE Students of the Year. Nick represents Seminole Ridge High School. CTE stands for Career and Technical Education. This group receives special recognition from the school board during their last public meeting. Congratulations again, Nick. Thank you. You're welcome. Time now to salute students and staff in our honor roll segment. The Wellington Elementary School Running Club is making great strides to a healthful lifestyle. These students recently took part in the South Florida Fair's Read, Run, and Recycle Kids Mile Run. Congratulations to Shelby Bomford. This Palm Beach Central High School senior has been crowned as Miss South Florida Fair 2016. Northboro Elementary School sure knows how to roll out the red carpet. Students and staff made the community feel very welcome during the school's literacy night. The event featured lots of hands-on literacy activities and performances. Food and fun was had by all. Speaking of literacy, let's send a big thank you to Wellington High School for donating about 700 books to Wellington Elementary. Wellington High's Honor Society worked with Barnes & Noble and the National Geographic Society to make this happen. And special thanks to Cameron, Lucas, and Tanner from Watson B. Duncan Middle School. These students held a fundraiser benefiting the Loggerhead Marine Life Center. Kudos to Alamanda Elementary School's Green Gardeners. These students certainly have a green thumb. They, along with their teacher, Rose Miranda, are having great success growing their herb garden. 
Lots more ahead here on School News Around the District. Still ahead, we'll check out the community calendar for important events. And the spotlight shines on Addison Meisner Elementary School. Find out what makes this school outstanding. Welcome back. Each week, school news around the district highlights one of our great schools. And this week, the spotlight shines on Addison Meisner Elementary School. At Addison Meisner Elementary School in Boca Raton, teachers strive to educate students and to assist them in realizing their full potential as responsible, productive, contributing members of society. These educational professionals provide an environment in which students are challenged. Excellence is expected and differences are valued. We like to go above and beyond and do those enrichment activities. Sure, you can read about the immigrant experience in a textbook, but these second graders are acting out what it was like for people coming to this country for the first time. What in America? They create passports, dress in native costumes, and pretend they are passing the Statue of Liberty on their way to Ellis Island. Kids learn best by hands-on experience. We want them to have fun while learning. This joy of learning starts with an incredible teaching staff. They show dedication every school day and beyond. This parking lot, if you come on a Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning, the parking lot's full because they just are dedicated to the, and passionate about education and they all want to do such a fantastic job. In every way, the teachers take the extra step, or steps. Right, right, left, left. From dancing in physical education classes for fitness, to creating works of art. Two pieces of clay have to bond together. On this day, it's all about clay. Ay, ay. And every music student at Addison Meisner will have a chance to play the ukulele before they graduate elementary school. There is even a ukulele ensemble that meets every day to practice before school. The campus is close to 50 years old, but you won't find more modern technology in Palm Beach County. Computers are in every classroom, and the students love tackling online lessons. Together, technology and top teachers. And the teachers are like out of this world. <laughs> adds up at Addison Meisner Elementary School. The School District of Palm Beach County, your best choice. Time now to show you some important events making our community calendar. Registration is now open for Literacy Fest. This event brings together elementary literacy educators from across the district to learn from each other and with each other. Literacy Fest takes place January 30th from 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at Palm Beach Central High School. Join Team Educate for a Cure for the 25th annual Komen Race for the Cure. This event also takes place on Saturday, January 30th in downtown West Palm Beach. You'll find more information at komensouthflorida.org. Tradewinds Middle School is hosting a health, wellness, and safety fair on Saturday, February 6th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Community partners, students, and others have set up booths, and students will provide entertainment. Now let's check in with Rick Blackwell to see what he's working on in Good Sports. Hi, Rick. Thanks a lot, guys. Coming up next right here on the Education Network on Good Sports, it's all about academics. The 31st Academic Challenge. We've got five high schools in this preliminary round, 15 schools vying to be the 2016 champion. We'll show you all the highlights. Also, district soccer action. Great action on the field. Those stories and more coming up next right here on the Education Network. It's Good Sports right here. Thanks, Rick. And that's going to do it for this edition of School News Around the District, brought to you by the Education Network, keeping, keeping you informed. informed.